In this lecture, we're going to look at updating our existing posts. And this is going to be a pretty short lecture because we don't have to write a lot of code to do this. We're going to reuse some of the code we've already written, so this should be fairly simple. So here in my list view, I have created a new column called edit, and we have a link. And all it posts to is admin post edit and then the ID of that particular post. And so what we need to do is create a mapping for this in our admin post controller. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna post this, uh, this is gonna go to admin, post, edit, and then the ID of the post. And we'll go ahead and call this edit. And then we need a path variable. Whoops. Path variable for our ID. And then we'll need a model. And so we're going to return this to the admin post post form. So this is very similar to the create method, right? Admin post post form. And actually, if we want to, what we'll do is we'll just copy these right out of there because we know we're going to need a post and we know we need authors for that form to work. The only difference here is we're not using a blank post. We're not using just a new post that we instantiate here. We're going to use a post by calling post service dot get and then passing in the ID. <clears throat> I mean, I would jump into the post service again, but we've already seen this. This is simply just using the find one that is a part of the CRUD repository that we created. So that's really all there is to it. Um, let's go ahead and rerun this. So now we should be able to go into our list uh, on our post on our post page and edit a particular list and have all of that information come up and we're just gonna post back to the save method so we're using the same form the same save method and before I do that let's just jump into the post form and this is where this input hidden comes in very uh, this is where we needed this so we need to if an ID comes into here we need to pass that ID back to the save method so it knows that it's updating an existing one and not creating a new one. All right, so let's go ahead and edit an existing one. We'll edit spring data rocks. And all we're going to do is say updated and we'll change this to updated and we'll simply click submit so now we see spring spring data rocks updated and our slug was updated if we go back to the post list we can see that our title is updated so that's really all there is to updating an existing post again we we used a uh, reused a lot of the code that we've already created so that was a big plus for us and I think that'll wrap this up and let's move on to the final installment of the CRUD section and that is deleting.